cool. Right here. So I'll be straight like this. How do I sound? Okay, I'm ready. Oh, what's happened? Well, I caught a bug called meningococcal septicemia, which led to me getting really sick and having to have the amputations. Do you ever make up stories when people ask you what happened? I don't know why everyone seems to laugh and like, presume like it's like a shark or something like that. I don't know if it's because I was in Australia. What about when you have an itch you need to scratch? Okay, well, um, yeah, I guess it depends where it is. Like, you know, I can still get a decent scratch in there. Um, what's something that you didn't think you would be able to do that you can do now? Um, well, initially when I was in hospital, I was always lying down because I didn't have that much physical strength. And um, I guess I really thought it'd be impossible for me to be able to, you know, sit up on my own. Now, obviously, I can kind of just like move around a lot so that's something I thought would be impossible. Where do you see yourself in five years? Well in five years I'll be like 28. That's kind of like I haven't actually really thought about that like yeah. <laughs> I mean at the moment I haven't really been able to manage like a full-time job because I have like rehab. I'm still quite dependent I've had to move back home and all that but I'd like to see myself like independently living kind of on my own and just like working full-time in journalism.